Hi, this is Brian Forrester of HiddenIncaTours.com and today we're exploring the Great Sphinx and Valley Temple near the Great Pyramid at Giza in Egypt. So this is what is called the Valley Temple, very close to the Great Sphinx, and it is composed of these massive granite blocks, which you can see here. The stone comes from Aswan, which is 500 miles away. And also behind the granite is a core of limestone blocks. And look at the heavy erosion on the surfaces. The granite originally fitted perfectly tightly together. Unfortunately, this wall section has been repaired recently. And this is what is called the Sphinx Temple, which is right in front of the Sphinx itself. And these amazing granite uh, facade pieces were originally on the outer face top of the wall, but obviously have fallen down. But you can see the very fine finish of the, uh, the granite, which could not have been done by the dynastic people. So it's clear that the Valley Temple and the Sphinx Temple, and the Sphinx itself, were made long before the time of the pharaohs. Amazingly, this black granite um, section is still quite highly polished and is in much better shape than the rest of the surfaces. And these pillars, again, are massive chunks of granite. Some of the lintels or beams are still in place. And it's interesting the weathering that is lower down on the pillars themselves. Also, where the joints are, because of heavy wind and sand erosion, um, they have this pillowed look now. You can see originally a perfectly tight fit of these massive granite blocks. And again, when we look at the lower section of the pillars, they show what appears to be water erosion, which is quite curious. And now we move on to the Sphinx itself. Now, if you look very carefully, the uh, area on top is different from the area below because the upper area is bedrock, and you can see here, the left side is bedrock, the right-hand side is actually blocks of stone. Why would that be? Because this planking is over top of the entrance to the tunnel system underneath the Sphinx itself, likely discovered in the 1990s. And here we see, again, the incredible heavy erosion of the limestone blocks of the Sphinx Temple, that is far more than would be simply from wind and sand. And this shows all of the different repair work that's been done on the Sphinx itself, likely starting during the time of Khufu and Khafre, so 4,500 years ago. The Sphinx existed before the dynastic Egyptians. And part of the evidence is in this vertical weathering, which could only have been done by precipitation and the last time it rained a lot in Egypt for an extensive period of time was 12,000 plus years ago. So the head has been recarved during dynastic times. There's the original surface of the Sphinx, and here is some of the repair work that's been going on for 4,000 plus years. Again, the original weathering is quite incredible and shows the amazing antiquity of this monument. And there's an entrance at the back of the Sphinx. There is actually a ladder inside there, and access to the Sphinx itself requires special permission, which I believe costs about $2,000, but we paid in order to be able to get you these photographs and a video, which will come later, of actual video. So these are our tours for 2019, because 2018 tours are full. Advanced Technologies and Wisdom of the Ancients of India in January 2019. 
Mexico Ancient Technology Tour. Yes, there are megalithic sites in Mexico in February 2019. And Egypt Lost Ancient High Technology and Metaphysics in April 2019. And these are related books at Amazon.com by myself. Akhenaten, the heretic pharaoh, the man who changed history for a very short period of time, the enigma of cranial deformation, co-written with David Hatcher Childress, Lost Ancient Technology of Egypt, this is actually volume one, Lost Ancient Technology of Egypt, volume two, And Aftershock, the ancient, uh, ancient cataclysm that erased human history.